Alright everybody, welcome back to a brand new PCO video, and today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Gyarados standard format deck. Not Mega Gyarados, Mega Gyarados, step aside, because the normal Gyarados is like the deck that's really sweeping the nation. Not really sweeping the nation, but it's popping up a lot, and ever since, you know, I saw some play, won some tourneys, it's doing really good, and it is doing good for a reason. It's a very, I guess, low-key rogue deck. It's not really like a deck you'd see, like, take home, like, like, a huge event, but it's possible. Full Retaliation may not seem that good on paper. For two energies, you have 30. Attack does 30 more damage for each damage counter on your bench magic card. So you're probably like, well, what? Magic card only has 30 HP. That's, like, that's nothing. Like, it, it could get knocked out if you touched it. But it doesn't matter because the card that's going to allow us to actually make that even better is Team Magnus Secret Base. Team Mega Secret Base basically says when you play a base Pokemon, except for Team Mega Pokemon, onto your bench, that Pokemon will take two damage counters. And this is going to work well with Magikarp, because when you play down a Magikarp, it's going to take two damage counters. This is going to make full retaliation do a lot more damage. So if you think about it, you can have three Magikarps on your bench with two damage counters on them each. So in total, that would do 210 damage, which is enough to knock out a fair amount of Mega Pokemon, obviously with exceptions to stuff like maybe like Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre, maybe like something like Mega Scizor I think has 220 HP, but it's still a very powerful attack and it's a good budget rogue deck to kind of, um, you know, if you're new to the game, it's a good budget deck, but it's just a very fun and fast and a very aggressive crazy Gyarados deck. And it is doing very well, so we are going to take a look at it. Obviously, the deck is going to revolve around full retaliation. We are not going to use Thrash at all. Hell, we're not even going to use its Ancient Trait, which allows you to play two tools on it. If Muscle Band was still in the format, maybe... I mean, maybe Bursting Balloon could do fine, because I mean, two Bursting Balloons would make that do 200, uh, 120 damage, which would prove pretty funny, but we're going to focus more on full retaliation. You can make your own version of this deck if you want. You can run it with Bursting Balloon. It doesn't really matter, but full retaliation is going to be our best friend here, and it is going to help us out the most. And like I said, the combo is get Team Magma's secret base. When you play a Magikarp down, that Magikarp will take two damage counters, and then once you get three Magikarps and a Gyarados active, you're going to be knocking out basically anything that gets in your way other than a few Pokemon Full Retaliation is going to be doing 210 damage, it's going to be sweeping things. Another great thing about it is, since it is a Gyarados and it's not an EX, your opponent's going to take one prize, and if you're knocking out EX's left, right, center, you're going to be taking two prizes, and your opponent's going to be taking one prize, and eventually that'll even out, and you'll be able to win the game due to that prize trade, and it's just very good. Plus, 130 HP isn't the, it's not the best, but it's not bad for stage one, so maybe your opponent might not be able to overcome the Gyarados, especially if you get it out turn 2 and knock something out. If your opponent can't respond to the knockout, you can sweep a game fairly easily with Gyarados. And it's just that good. Another thing with this deck, since it's a budget-friendly deck, you don't need to run Shaman EX in the deck. So we are going to run a 2-2 Octillery line. Octillery has the ability Abyssal Hand, which once during turn before you attack, you may draw cards until you have 5 in your hand. So that is nice. You can draw some extra cards. It'll it support you a little bit. And it will make things a little easier for you. And it's also going to help with the speed of the deck. Since the deck falls around being very quick. Octillery will allow you to draw cards. And you can just play your things out very fast. And it makes things better. Now the deck does kind of struggle against deck things that damage the bench. Since it could be possible for your opponent to play something like a Hoopa down. And do a Hoopa and knock out like two magic cards. Or play something, not even a Hoopa. Just play something that does 10 damage to each bench Pokemon. And your magic cards will go bye bye. So Mr. Mime in my opinion is extremely extremely necessary in the deck. Bench Barrier is going to save your life so many times because if they get knocking out on the bench, your magic cards are going to fall and you're going to need the Mr. Mime to support you. And you got the Artilleries again, Bissell Hand, great ability, and then the 4-4 Gyarados, you got the 4 magic cards. 3 will be on your bench for damage and then 1 will be in your active spot for the Gyarados. And then eventually you will keep cycling them with stuff like Puzzle of Time, Super Rod, Buddy Buddy Rescue to keep getting the Magic Carbs going and going. So the deck only needs a DC also which makes it good. So it, you know, you, you don't need any other energy. You're not going to need to play any water energies for Thrash even though you're never going to use Thrash. So that is the Pokemon we get into the items. Buddy Buddy Rescue. Three of these Buddy Buddy Rescue will allow you to get a Magic Carp back from your discard pile and put it back on your bench. It will allow you to get your Magic Carbs going and Keep the Magikarps going on the bench, and you can consistently keep 
three on your bench while one is in the active for the Gyarados. So we're going to play three Buddy Buddy Rescues. We're going to play four Dive Balls. Dive Ball. I mean, we don't need Ultra Ball in the deck, which is a beautiful thing. Four Dive Balls. All we need Dive Ball for is to grab the Octillery, the Remorades, our Gyarados, our Magic Carp, anything you need. Four level balls for the Remoray, the Artillery, and the Magic card, and we got four Puzzle of Times. Puzzle of Time, if you get two in your hand, you can play them down, both, and you can grab two cards from Discord Pile, you can grab DCEs, uh, I don't know, anything you need to, really, it's just that good. Uh, one Special Charge, the deck only plays double colorless energies, so there might come a time where you may run low on double colorless, so you might have to do a Special Charge for your DCEs back, and it might come to that point where you need to do that. One Super Rod. Super Rod will allow you to get back Magikarp, Gyarados, Artillery, and it will work well with Magikarp. Uh, one Town Map. Town Map is great, because if you ever have Magikarp's prize, since the deck relies super heavily on our Magikarps, we will need to play Town Map to help us out a little bit. So yeah, we're definitely going to need to play the Town Map so that we can look at our face of prizes. And if Magikarp's are prized, or any important cards are prized, we know what to take when we knock out a Pokemon, so that it'll help us. Four Trainers Mail, again, we need this for the speed of the deck. Four VS Seeker, we got a lot of supporters in here, and we're gonna need the VS Seeker for the supporters, specifically teammates, I guess. Two Lysander, again, if your opponent can't keep up with momentum, you can just Lysander something on the bench they might want to build up and try and knock out the Gyarados with, and then you can just wipe it out with Lysander, or even just get around stuff you can't knock out. Two ends and good disruption, good draw support. One Pokemon Ranger, this deck struggles a lot against Giratini EX. Giratini EX will shut down your Magma Stadium and will also shut down your DCEs. So you're gonna need Pokemon Ranger so that you can get back that stuff. So we are gonna run one of these. Hell, you can go with two if you really are worried about those Giratina matches. Four Sycamore's draw support, helps with the speed. Two teammates, since it is possible if you're going to easily get a knockout on 30 HP magic cards and stuff, you can play teammates, grab two cards. Very useful, it could be any two cards you want and that's the beauty of it. Four Team Magma Seeker Bays. This is like really the meat of the deck. Without this card, this deck would suck. You need Team Magma Seeker Base so you can play the Magic Carbs down and so the Magic Carbs can take their damage so that Gyarados can attack. Two Float Stones. Float Stone is just nice to play it on like Octillery. Give it Free Retreat. The Free Retreat is very nice to work with. And then rounding things out, the only energies we play is four double colorless energies. And that is our energy count now, guys. Before I get into the game, I do want to give a shout out to Omnipoke because this is the deck list that I got off of Omnipoke from his video. I took this deck list and I made my and I obviously I'm using it. I would kind of I wanted to tweet a little bit, and maybe take out some stuff, but there's really nothing to take out if you think about it. You could maybe swap out Sick more and maybe throw in like a third N or maybe like another Pokemon Ranger in case you're scared of those matchups. You can maybe take out a Floatstone. You can maybe take out I don't know. You can take out. Maybe a level ball or maybe a dive ball. I mean, there's things you can take out, but I did take some Omni Pokes, so I gotta give a shout out to him. But yeah, let's hop into a few games with this Gyarados deck and see why it is starting to get a lot popular right now. Alright, let's get into this game here with the Gyarados deck. Flip the coin, can we get heads? And no, we lost the coin flip. Alright, but it's, you know what, it's not the end of the world. It is not the end of the world. So we'll see what Juan Citos is playing. I see. Fire types. This is going to be a fire deck, so Volcanian maybe not a bad matchup. I think that's a pretty decent matchup actually. All right, so let's see what are we gonna do. Can we stop these Mulligans? Can we get a Pokemon? That is the question. Stay tuned next time, folks. And we do get double Remoraid. All right, now this hand actually isn't too hot. Not really liking this hand. Not gonna lie. Uh, hopefully, maybe he ends us. An end would not be bad. I would actually really appreciate if he played an end. Because his hand ain't looking too good. So he gets a Talon Flame. Oh, so he's playing a Typhlosion. Okay, that, if, as long as we can get things going, we're fine. So we see an Ultra Ball. And he gets rid of two Fires. And we'll see if he grabs the Cyndaquil, which he does. Alright. Okay. And he plays it down. And he just passes a turn. Yikes, so nothing. Alright, this is, this is annoying. We'll puzzle of time and we'll rearrange the top cards of our deck and see what we can do. Alright, nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, but we will artillery next turn. So that's fine. We can play the float stone onto the remoraid. And I guess we'll just pass for now. And yeah, I mean. We need a top deck, so we can definitely artillery next turn. And artillery will help us out. And we'll see how this match goes. It's not a bad match, I'm assuming. I mean, it's just, it's a Typhlosion deck. So Typhlosion ain't really that big of a match, uh, big of a deal. So there's an Ultra Ball, so he's gonna get rid of a Heavy Ball and another Fire Energy. 
He's gonna grab Typhlosion. So yeah, I guess he's gonna go with an Arrow Blitz. He's gonna do 40, we'll retreat. It's all good. Arrow Blitz, and he can grab a uh, Typhlosion. He's probably gonna grab a Rare Canyon stuff. So hopefully we get an end and we can get rid of his luck here and then help us out a little bit. So let's see how it goes. We're gonna have to give up a level ball, I think, just to get this Octillery to give us more cards. So we can double Octillery. Grab the Octillery once. Get that guy into play. We can level ball for another Octillery. Grab that second Octillery. We can play the second Octillery down. And we can, you know what, we'll level ball. We'll grab a Magic Carp. Even if Magma Secret Base is not in play, we'll do it anyways. So we'll grab Magic. Or we can grab Mr. Mime, actually. It's not gonna matter. We'll grab Magic Carp, I guess. Why not? Even though Magma Secret Base isn't in play. It'll help us maybe against Gear Dust. So let's go double Abyssal Hand. How's this gonna work? And we get a supporter here to help us out. Uh, no, we get a DCE though. So we can put that DCE onto you. And we can Lysander out a Cyndaquil. We can Abyssal Hand again. Come on, give us something at least decent. I right. Okay, this is nice. We can get two Magikarps potentially. Uh, teammates. Okay, we'll grab the teammates instead. So we'll get the teammates, and we will retreat into the Octillery, and we'll pass the turn. We'll let him knock out Octillery if he does, and then when he does, we can play the teammates. We can get a Team Magma Secret Base, and maybe a Supporter for next turn, I don't know. So there's Rare Candy, and we're going to see that Rare Candy into the Typhlosion. We're going to see another Rare Candy in Typhlosion, so he's going to get two Typhlosions in play. We're going to have to kind of keep up with the KOs here, if anything. And we'll see the Massive Eruption. Will it... Okay, that was all fires. I think he... I think I saw Skyland there, but I did. But yeah, he is going to knock us out. We'll bring out the Artillery. But that's fine. We did get the teammates here. So let's see what we can top deck. Lysander, don't need it. We'll go with teammates. We'll grab a... Okay, we'll grab the Shrine of Memories. And a VS okay, yeah, how about we do this? We got a VS Seeker, and we will grab the Magma Secret Base. Two are in the deck. All right, we're gonna have to get our prize. We'll grab, we we'll grab VS Seeker two for next turn because we can double die. We can double uh, thing here and grab a Gyarados. So we'll level ball. We'll grab Magic Carp, and we'll put the Magic Carp onto our bench. So we'll do this. We'll put the Magic Carp down. We'll get the damage on it. We can dive ball for Magic Carp. And yeah, we'll do that. We'll get the magic carp down here. Boom. Get him down onto the bench. And we can retreat Octillery into the magic carp of the DCE. We can evolve into Gyarados. Uh, we don't really need to do a uh, buddy buddy rescue quite yet. So we'll go with Abyssal Hand for two. And maybe we can get another magic carp. We can dive ball. Get us the magic carp here. I get him down, I guess, and we'll play him down. And next turn, we can, uh, if he knocks us out, we can do the teammates. So we'll hold off on doing anything else. We'll full retaliation. It will KO his Typhlosion for a ton of damage. 420 damage, smoke weed every day. And we'll take a prize. Shrine of Memories would not, I'm not Shrine of, why am I saying Shrine of Memories? Magma Secret Base, I'm calling it the wrong card. But we get a Puzzle of Time, so that's not bad. Uh, maybe we can, uh, Puzzle of Time, actually, and get our Gyarados back. So he's going to play the Fire down. We see the Massive Eruption, and he does get a lot of energies. He's going to hit us back with a 240 damage attack, but it's fine. We can bring out the Artillery, and we will go for the... Oh, nice! We top the a DC. We don't even need to. We'll, we'll just do this. We'll VS Seeker for teammates. We'll play the teammates. We'll get ourselves a Gyarados, and... Whoops, we'll grab Gyarados, and we'll grab a VS Seeker, then for next turn, I'm liking it a lot, I'm liking the combos, we'll do this, we'll play the Gyarados, I mean Gyarados is just going to destroy the Typhlosion, so, and my opponent concedes the game, obviously it's a decent matchup for us, so let's hop into another game with the Gyarados deck, and ooh, did we actually get this, nice, we did get the 60 points, I kinda, I'm curious to see where we get out of this um, box before we uh, get into our next game with the uh, Gyarados deck, so let's see. What do we get in the box? So we're getting really close to that chest. We're not going to do the ladder. Two days left. And really, I'm not really concerned about losing out at Fuller Den. I can easily get one. We get a tournament ticket. All right, nice. So see you guys in another game. Okay, here we go with another game with the Gyarados deck. Playing against Seagrove. 
Got the pretty basic avatar on. I see that avatar a lot. And we have the double magic harp start. Ugh, that's annoying. That's annoying. But you know what? We'll roll with it. Our hand isn't the worst, I guess. Um, we'll see, though, if my opponent's playing anything. I, I'm pretty sure he might be playing Mewtwo. And he does. Yeah, we topic Lysander. Not what I'm looking for, game. And, alright. I guess we'll have the trainer's mail for level ball. Yikes. This is not good. We can do the level ball. And you know what? We can level ball for the Remoraid. We're gonna have to puzzle of time and stuff. So we'll grab Remy. We'll play the Magi. No, we're not going to. That'd be dumb. There's no point in doing it. So we'll play puzzle of time. And oh, oh, nice. Okay, nice. So we can actually we can perfectly arrange that. I really wish we weren't getting special charges at the top deck. But you know what? He can knock me out. And we can do teammates, so it's all good. We might be good next turn, assuming things do go to plan. So we are going to see the Psychic going on to his Mewtwo. We're going to see a Trainer's Mail from my opponent grabbing a Mewtwo Spirit Link. All right, so this hand is pretty nice. I'm not going to complain about it. So Mewtwo Spirit Link is going down, and we are going to get hit with 30 damage. It is going to knock us out, but we might be able to make a huge play this turn. We'll see, though. We will see. All right, so we play the Octillery down play the Octillery, we'll play Magikarp down, we'll play the Floatstone, we'll grab Team Magma Secret Base, and something else. We'll play the Teammates, and we will grab, oh, okay, so Magikarp, alright. We'll grab the Level Ball, I guess. We can grab another Magikarp, maybe. And we will get a Magma Secret Base. Hmm. Yeah, oh, we could grab DCE, but I don't really want to lose it if I'm not going to be able to get the knockout, you know what I mean? So we'll play the Magma Secret Base. I know I should have done that on the Magikarp, but one's already in the discard, so it really, in my opinion, didn't matter. Uh, so we'll play the level ball, we'll get the Magikarp. We'll play the Magikarp down. And we will go with an Abyssal Hand here. Hopefully, it gives us something really good. I'm looking for DC, I'm looking for Gyarados. Uh, we don't get the DCE, unfortunately, so we can play Level Ball for another Magikarp. And we actually, I think, you know what, I'm, I'm not too upset about losing a Magikarp. That'll just let us Buddy Buddy Rescue, so we'll, we'll retreat into the Magikarp. We'll let him knock it out, and then we will play Gyarados, and if we get a Buddy Buddy Rescue... We can just play the Magikarp's back down, and we can possibly knock out this Mewtwo next turn. So, I'm pretty fine with keeping the Magikarp active. If one's going to Shatter Shot, I guess he's not even trying. I have no clue what he's doing. But, you know what? It is all good. We can play our Octillery in the active spot. Our Octillery. And, alright, let's see. Is this top deck going to be good? I can't see what that is. A VS Seeker. Yeah, VS Seeker. We win. We can teammate. We can grab Buddy Buddy Rescue. And we can grab a DCE and we can win the game. So let's go with the teammates. Let's uh, retreat Octillery into Gyarados. And we'll play a teammates. We'll grab the DC and a Buddy Buddy Rescue. And folks, that is how you win a game against me. I know he didn't play any bench Pokemon. I, maybe he doesn't realize he's playing against a deck like this. Maybe he's joking. Like, huh, he's playing um, he's playing Magikarp. He, his deck must not be that good. So maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's his mindset. I don't really know. I don't really know. Maybe it is. We'll go Buddy Buddy Rescue. Get back our two Magikarps. Uh, I don't know, why is my opponent doing, okay, why is it taking so long for my opponent to hurry up? Alright, but, we'll do the double buddy buddy rescue. We'll get our two Magikarps. Oh, it's only one Pokemon. Oh. Huh. Alright, well, that's a little bit of a bummer. Not gonna lie. I totally forgot that. Uh, whatever. I thought buddy buddy rescue grabbed two. Hmm, I read that wrong, but we'll go with an Abyssal Hand. Can we get a way to win? Oh, no, we get the DCE. That would have been nice. A little later on. We'll go the full retaliation. And it will hit the Mewtwo. Unfortunately, we aren't going to knock it out. I did the math wrong. I forgot Buddy Buddy Rescue only grabbed one Pokemon. I swear it was two, though. Because, like, you can see it grabbing the two Pokemon. But I guess I'm a bit of an idiot. But you know what? It's not the end of the world. So he's going to put another energy. I guess he'll damage change. We see him play a Hoopa down. And, okay, here's where we're going to have to start putting up more of a fight. Unfortunately, guys, the Buddy Buddy Rescue wasn't coming clutch. We actually ended up getting a DCE off of that anyways. 
and we could have played the DCE down instead of doing a uh, thing for DC, but I only had two in the deck, but it is good that he's getting damage on his Pokemon, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, he's playing Floatstone, he's putting a Floatstone on his Mewtwo, and we're gonna see a Shaman coming down, setting up for two. Alright, is he gonna play down a Mewtwo? Well, I know he's gonna damage change, such an annoying attack, honestly damage exchange, in my opinion should not be allowed in the game. It is easily one of the most annoying attacks in the game. Without a doubt. So bring up our artillery. Not oh okay, game. I love you too. We could double puzzle of time. So let's do this. Double puzzle of time. And we'll grab a Magikarp and a Gyarados. So we'll get these two. Grab the Magikarp, we'll get the Gyarados. Alright, nice, nice. That that was that could not have been any more perfect. We can actually KO this Mewtwo too. So we can play you down. Or, okay, we'll play the Gyarados down. Alright, and we will uh, we'll go with the Bissell Hand just in case. So let's do this. We'll see what we can get with the Bissell Hand. Uh, Puzzle of Time, Secret Base, uh, alright, whatever, rip. Alright, so let's go with the Sycamore. And let's see, will we be able to knock out his Gyarados? Ooh, I don't know, actually. Actually, no, 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 no. We can, we can Super Rod, actually, and get back the Magikarp. So let's go Super Rod, get back Magikarp, and we'll just Die Ball for it. I just I just realized I could do that. So let's go Die Ball. We have a t teammate in our hand, too, just to make things even better. We'll go Die Ball, grab ourselves the Magikarp. We can play the Magikarp down, and we can play him down, and we'll do that. We'll die ball again, and we'll actually grab ourselves a Gyarados, just to thin out the hand so that next turn we have a Gyarados to attack with, because why not? Like, so I doubt my opponent would end me to 4 when he has 3 cards in his hand, that just would be really dumb of him. So we'll retreat, bring up the Gyarados, and we will, full retaliation, destroy his Mewtwo, do 210 damage, and now we are in a decent spot. We are able to do that, and if my opponent can't respond with a knockout, we will be good, and we got a Buddy Better Rescue, another Artillery to play down, things are looking good here. He's gonna bring up Hoopa, and he's probably just hoping that he gets Mewtwo Y, because if not, we're just gonna be good to full retaliation him to death. So there's a Trainer's Mail, alright, and he's gonna get an N. Ooh, is he actually gonna play that though? I'm curious. I, like, I don't know if he would or not, because he's only gonna, he's gonna end himself to three, and I don't know if he actually wants to do that. But we'll see if he does. If he does, and he manages to get a Mewtwo Y Spirit Link at Mewtwo, I am gonna cry, but he is gonna N actually, alright. Hopefully we get teammates or like a VS Seeker off of this. I mean, we do have artillery, so you know what, it's all good, but it's still. Alright, nice, nice, nice. And we still get the Buddy Buddy Rescue and the teammate. Wow. So we see the Mewtwo Y Spirit Link. And the Mewtwo, of course he was able to get that off of three cards somehow, because this game hates me, of course. But you know what, we're still knocking out this Mewtwo Y anyways. So it's not the end of the world. Rip Gyarados. Um, alright. Is our two DCs in our discard, uh... Hold on, this is the other DC, right? Yes, it is. Oh, God. Okay. Hmm, we're gonna need special charge here off of this trainer's mail. So, let's see. Let us see. Alright. Top deck, be good. I didn't end. Not what I need. VSC, uh, trainer's mail, sorry. Uh, no. Rip. Alright, we didn't get the other DCE, but we can grab the town map, I guess, just to see where the DCE is. Go town map. Alright, come on. Uh, wow, okay. so two DCs are in the prizes, and they are actually in pretty bad spots, so go Buddy Buddy Rescue, and we will get back the Magic Card. we'll play him down, and if anything, we're gonna have to sacrifice the Remoraid. That might be what's gonna have to happen here, but I'm probably, hmm, alright, Buddy Buddy Rescue, come back to our hand, Magic Card. alright, let's see, uh, have I used Special Charge? No, okay, good. Alright, let's see your prizes. Alright, so a Gyarados is in the deck still, which is nice. We'll do this. And we'll go with the Abyssal Hand first to see if we can get Special Charge or something. Uh, no. Alright, teammates. <sighs> teammates, teammates, teammates. I mean, we could teammates? I get, okay. We can teammates, we can buddy buddy rescue for Gyarados. So we'll go teammates, we'll grab Octillery. And we will get the special charge. Uh, what? I clicked on it. Alright, there we go. We'll grab the artillery and the special charge. We'll play down the artillery. We'll buddy buddy rescue into Gyarados. And if not, we're gonna have to sacrifice artillery, but it's not the end of the world. We'll buddy buddy rescue. 
Come on, play it, play it, play it, play it. We'll grab Gyarados. We'll special charge. We'll artillery for two, and I mean, that is a bit risky. I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna have to go for it. So special charge our two DCEs back into our deck. We'll play down our Gyarados. We'll Abyssal Hand. Alright, let's do it. Abyssal Hand. We'll keep the Flowstone active just in case he doesn't knock us out. Oh, okay. Trainer's Mail. I mean, it's not going to matter, but it is okay. Uh, Sycamore, Dive Ball. We'll grab the Dive Ball just in case he does KO me. I don't know if he lies, Sanders. And we'll... We'll leave the Floatstone active. We'll leave him active for just a minute. But yeah, this is scary. I don't know if he does knock out this Gyarados. If he knocks out a Magikarp or a Gyarados, it would be really bad. And unfortunately, we weren't able to get that DCE. But if he doesn't knock out the Artillery here, or doesn't take a prize, we could be okay. But we'll see. We'll end him. We can end him next turn to four. We can do a lot of things. And we're just going to have to hope for the best, guys. We're going to have to hope for the best. If not, the best will not happen. So he does Mega Turbo. And he's going to put the energy onto his Mewtwo. And we, he's going to Hex Maniac me. But uh, that's only going to shut off Abyssal Hand, which isn't the worst thing. And that will knock me out. He puts the DCE on his Shaman. And he's going to hit me here. 100 damage. Will KO our Octillery. And we'll bring up Gary. Gary, Gyarados, Gyarados. Ha. And... Here it goes. See what we top deck. Alright, okay, no, we can actually teammates instead. We'll grab the teammates. And we will teammates. And grab DCE and Gyarados. Just for next. Actually, we don't need to grab Gyarados, do we? No, we don't. We'll grab... Uh, okay, we'll, we'll grab the DCE. And we'll grab the DC. We'll grab both DCEs. Just for next turn. I'm trying to think this through. Grab the two DCEs. We'll play the DCE onto the Gyarados. We'll put the Mr. Mime down. And full retaliation. Knock out the Mewtwo. And here we go, folks. It's all going to be down to this. We'll grab Gyarados and a Floatstone. We'll grab DCE and Floatstone. I will just grab the DC and the Gyarados. I don't think we need the Floatstone. We'll grab those two. Gonna help our odds win the game, if anything. So he's gonna bring up this Mewtwo. Now, does he have, like, a Lysander or something? Is it even in his discard? No, it's not. He doesn't have that much in his discard pile. He might just have to go with a, uh, uh, Sky Return. He might just have to Sky Return the Gyarados. But if not, I mean, we'll be fine to win. He's Sycamores, and... Folks, I think we're good to win this now. I don't know if he can win after, after that Sycamore. Like, I don't know, unless he does something crazy. So there's Ultra Ball. And he gets rid of Garbodor and Sycamore. He grabs Hoopa. Oh, what the hell? He plays Hoopa. You have got to be kidding me. Please do not... T Any... Mm, th I hate this game. And he hyperspace punches. Oh, wait, Mr. Mime! Mr. Mime! He came in clutch. Oh, uh, my God. We may have just won this because of Mr. Mime. Holy cow. Holy cow, Mr. Mime, I love you. I am so getting my opponent salty. Uh, I guess I'll just send a... Uh, ooh, that was close. That, that, that literally sums up that perfectly. That was close. That was really close. I was honestly scared. We'll dive ball, grab Gyarados. Alright, let's get them into hand. I kind of feel bad for my opponent. I mean, that must suck. I, I mean, I thought we were done for there. But I just remembered Mr. Mime. Last second, Mr. Mime. Well, Abyssal Hand. I wish I had a Lysander in my hand, though. But whatever. And, alright, Trainer's Mail, we'll play that, and we'll see if we can get something here. We get a Via Seeker, we will grab that. And, we will Level Ball, grab nothing, because I don't really need to play it at all. So, we'll Level Ball, grab nothing, just want to dump it out of the hand. And, we'll go with a full Retaliation. I end him to 1, so, it's really all down to what this end to 1 is. I swear to God, if it's a Lion Center, I'm going to cry. So, 210 damage, KO that thing. We'll just grab Floatstone. I no point grabbing that DC. We already have one in play in one of our bench. So, let's see. Is he going to be able to win this? I don't know. He's He got into one. It's all coming down to what he gets. He gets Shaman. Ugh. If he gets Lysander, I swear I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Let's see. Oh, God. This is so close. I'm probably going to use this game anyways. It's such a close game. It's a nail-biter. It's really all down to this. 
it's all down to what the Shaman gave him. And he conceives the game, and folks, just like that, we were able to win with the Gyarados deck. I'm gonna just, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I mean, Gyarados is really popular right now. You're probably gonna see a ton of other Gyarados decks, and you're probably running into this deck a lot. So I don't really think I need to show too many games, guys, Kappa. Uh, so, ooh, we can see what we got out of our, uh, out of our coins here, out of the box. I, th I got a lot of coins, I'm pretty sure. 25, alright, never mind. I didn't get that much. I thought I got like 100 or something, but I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like button. Don't forget to subscribe to more PCGO videos. That was the Gyarados deck. The deck is blowing up right now. It is a crazy, crazy deck. Now, I might make a video where I counter Gyarados. I don't know. It's I'm running into a lot, and it is kind of getting annoying playing against it, so maybe I might make like an anti-Gyarados deck. Because I think that'd be pretty fun. But I hope you guys ended up enjoying the video. Don't forget to subscribe because I am getting... I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so... Make sure you guys subscribe if you want, and thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys on another PDC Joe video. Goodbye.